First, let's create function. And I'm gonna name this as update profile. So try. That's it. So that's our function. So let's try to publish this now to our as well. Click and publish. This will take a while. So That's, it's done now so let's check let's check if it's already in our function up Okay. 
So the next thing we are going to do is to update our custom um, custom policy. So I have here the uh, the template for technical profile that we are going to use. So yeah, it's something like this. I I, I just got this from Microsoft uh, Microsoft documentation. So you can just search that. thing that we need to do is to add items here which is very important because it involves the URL of the function so we will have four items here the first item that we um, that, that we need to add is the service URI or URL The send claim claims is body. Now yeah, for now we, we just set the authentication type to none. And for this one we need to go back to our Azure function and get the exact exact URL and yeah cut, just copy that and paste it here. So the last thing that we need to do is to add the claims that we are going to send to our Azure function and those are the first name last name and the email so type reference should be given name for the first name and and it should not be here we just need to remove that close it and the partner partner type um, uh, Partner claim type is um, the 
this should be surname technical profile <coughs> then we need to update our orchestration step we need to add that technical profile along the way so let's find the per perfect place should be um, hmm. um, maybe we can just add it to the last part of the steps so let's just copy this one and paste it before the send claims type here and, and let's update this order to 19 and the new step would be uh, no uh, I mean uh, the the new step is 19 and the last step is 20 so yeah I think that's it we can now uh, okay let's copy that and paste it to the technical profile reference ID So let's upload that custom policy to our B2C identity framework. Okay, let's try to upload that policy. here okay we have an error okay so key attribute is not declared let's check our policy so I think I just misspelled something there upload it again oh. mm, this is weird um wait the key attribute is not declared 
Yeah, um, yeah, I misspelled that key. It sh I think it should be capital K. Let's just replace that or let's just update that to... Where's that key? Yeah, here it is. ID not clean type preference so okay let's try it again I'm gonna update the the key property here I think that's the real problem now yep okay let's try again once more hmm. yeah let's try to upload it again for the last time already updated that key attribute oh I missed the the last key property name so okay I think this is um, okay now Great. So Okay, let's open the logs of the Azure function so that when we try to log into our custom policy or B2C it will print the value there for the last name, first name, first name and uh, email. Yeah, I think it's working. So here are the details that we are sending from our custom policy. First name, last name and the email. 